So we're in grade school and, you know, we're trying to get people to like us, right? And so, you know, we act in a certain way and then let's say some people don't like us. And so what do we do? We kind of put on a mask and then we start acting a different way and then they like us. But then this other group of kids, they don't like the way that we're acting differently. So then we put another mask on to kind of befriend them and so they can accept us. And so what starts to happen as we go through life, you know, could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And we've got all these different masks on because we're acting differently with different people. And we're trying to make other people happy. We're trying to be accepted. I mean, one of, one of our biggest fears is, you know, that people won't love us, that we're not enough. And so what I want to share with you is stop being the person that you're not. You know, this was a big, big lesson for me is because I was trying to be this person and that person and all these different people. And I was, I didn't even know who I was. I was at a seminar. I don't know. I was probably like 20 years old. I remember it was, it was, I was at a um, life, no, what was it called? It was called um, Landmark. That was what it was. I was at a seminar at Landmark and they're asking like, who are you? And I'm thinking, I was thinking hard, like, who the heck am I? I didn't even know who I was. I didn't know what I really liked. I didn't know just anything because it was always, I was always kind of being influenced by the opinions of other people. And yes, that happens, obviously. We get influenced by the opinions of other people, but I didn't know what I truly really and really wanted. And so my encouragement to you is right right now is stop being the person that you're not. You're already beautiful. You're already, some, there's already somebody out there that is, hoping and wishing to meet a person like you. And if you change who you are, they may never actually meet you. I mean, how crazy is that? How depressing is that? that they'll never actually meet you because you're not really there. You're trying to be somebody else. And so, you know, I think the whole inner peace thing is so key because if you're really truly acting like yourself and just being comfortable in your own skin, just acting like yourself, that's true inner peace. But when you're trying to be someone else that you're not, you're always kind of just a little bit of anxiety in there. You don't feel comfortable in your own clothes or even at home with your spouse or significant other. And so, you know, just, just let's just knock it off right now. Let's just knock it off. Be the person that you're called to be. You know, once again, could be God, could be the universe. For me, I believe in God. The universe or God has called you to be something, and it's time for you to be that. Uh, the people in your life, maybe the people in your business, maybe the people that you work with, they're looking for you to show up, not anybody else, you to show up. So next time you look in the mirror, like maybe tonight, um, I want you to look at yourself and I want you to start, well, start, maybe start, maybe you have been loving yourself, but love yourself for who you are and what you've accomplished, or maybe you haven't accomplished. That's okay. There's still days to be lived left on the earth, you know, something for you to do. But I think your family, your kids, your coworkers, everybody that you interact with, I think they're going to really appreciate the true you. I think you'll be surprised and I'll think they'll love you even more and they'll accept you even more. So with that said, I hope this helps you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.